everybody, welcome to Eat Like an Eddie. My name is Emily Mardell and I'm the sports dietitian with FC Edmonton. I'm here with my friend and the guy I know with one of the best smiles ever, Tommy Amiobi. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Ann. I'm so glad you're here. I'm really excited to get cooking. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm slightly a little bit nervous. Uh, I've never cooked in front of anyone else apart from my wife, so <laughs> it's going to be fun. Well, Let's it's go. Good. Uh, well, I'm really hoping that after today you're going to be able to, you know, take these recipes home and like make them together too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, should be okay, good. Okay, let's yeah. get into it. The first thing we're going to make is dessert, which, why not start with dessert, right? Oh, exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, a couple of times a week, we do like to go out for a bit of a dessert before dinner, so it's perfect. What we're going to be making is a coconut avocado pudding. It's almost like a mousse because it's so fluffy and so decadent, but it's plant-based, which I know you'll really appreciate, right? Anything that we can do to get more greens in my daughter as well with avocado, um, I'm down for. Well, I will give you some tips on that. We'll talk about yeah. that for sure. The main base ingredient is full fat coconut milk. So you just find it in a can and you want to go full fat if you want that extra creaminess for mm -hmm. sure. So how much coconut milk did you say you use in again? It's about yes. a cup. A cup? Yep, a cup. This mousse will take a few minutes to kind of thicken up, but mm -hmm. the things that really help with the creaminess are definitely the coconut milk and the chia seeds. That really, really helps as well. We also have our avocado to give it a little bit of life so that it uh, kind of blends easily. I'm adding a little bit of maple syrup. Mm -hmm. And you know, you really want to sweeten to your taste, you know? And it's okay to actually add a little bit of salt to this if you want, just to kind of elevate the flavors too, to kind of bring it all together. Chia seeds are kind of uh, super unique in the sense of, just more so their, their food science properties. So in addition to like their protein, fiber, you know, omega-3s, that sort of thing, they're going to absorb the liquid and yeah. kind of make this kind of like all gelled together and give it that mousse texture. So you want to have those in there for sure. The other kind of secret ingredient I would say is unsweetened cocoa powder. This stuff is just so amazing. It's Dutch processed. It's really, really uh, uh, delicious. And a lot of people might not realize, but cocoa powder is a great way not just to add chocolate flavor, but to add fiber to. Every tablespoon that we're putting in here is going to have about two grams of fiber. So it's a good fiber boost too. Okay, here we go. This is, this is for all the money. <laughs> Okay, so we can already see just like within seconds, just look how fluffy Ooh, and beautiful it is. It is, it's really, really just like something. It's so quick to kind of like fluff up together. Oh my God, it makes you want to eat it. So <laughs> I like to garnish it with some more chia seeds, some coconut, some fresh berries, whatever yeah. you kind of have on hand in season. But if you're feeling like you want to share, I love these little mason jars. This is perfect. So it's good portion control, right, as well, you know, for kids. Which is and, important for kids. Yeah, yeah you, know, well, you know, sometimes you just gotta like throw it all in and just, just eat it too. But you know, it's handy in the sense, portion control, I should clarify. I meant so it doesn't spill in the bag, okay? <laughs> Not so that you only eat one, okay? You can definitely eat more than one. I just want to invite you just to kind of like dress them as you think you would like and your daughter and Andrea just so that you can take them home and, in, and oh, enjoy thank them. Thank you very much. Well I know my daughter she absolutely loves blueberries. Mm -hmm. uh, blueberries all day every day so maybe I'll start with her one. As training kind of ramps up and that sort of thing and you're looking for maybe a little bit of a, an energy cushion you know when you're, you're, you're doing more strength training or more uh, intense kind of tactical training. Yeah. Having something like this as a dessert that's going to have all those quality fats in there as well is going to kind of give you a little bit of energy cushion to kind of carry you through too. See, you, you see things like this online and you think, gosh, that must take an yeah. eternity to make. But as you've just shown, literally 30 seconds popping everything in, yeah. giving it a whirl around. So are we going to try it? Yeah. Are you going to try it? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Oh. Okay, come on. You can tell me if I still have a job. <laughs> <laughs> Get a few berries on there. Right. Wow, that is really good. All is right with the world. And I can't believe that avocado that's in here. I know. That's crazy. It's not a lot, but it does, it's the mouth feel yeah. that it lends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really, really good. This will go down a treat in the house. We started with dessert. Yeah. It's a good thing, right? It is epic. But we have so many beautiful ingredients from the Italian Center shop. I want to show you a quick and easy recipe that comes together in 15 minutes. Over here, we have some turkey. <laughs> Looks like I have tofu over here, yeah. Okay, awesome. It just goes to show kind of the versatility of this, but we're going to be making like a lettuce wrap. Okay. So it's really important whenever you kind of make something you can wrap up, you, you know, infuse your personality, right? Yeah. So I'm going to turn on my pan here and I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable oil to it. What we're going to do first is the base of mine is turkey. So I'm going to invite you to chop up your tofu and get that sizzling. 
what I really like about this dish is it really features a bunch of different things. So we have our quality protein, which we really need, right? Yeah. And then lots of color. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about like color and crunch and kind of bringing vibrancy to a plate, here we have, you know, some herbs, we have some aromatics, we have some wonderful like, scallions and, and bell peppers and things like that. Your pan is hot, so a little bit of vegetable oil, whatever you like, like avocado or olive oil would be fine. What I really like about this dish in particular is because it's going to actually lever leverage two different proteins. Okay. We're going to be adding this split red lentil. You can spend kind of like an hour maybe cooking like beans from dry or something like this in five to seven minutes. It's a oh, great wow. way to get some plant protein in there too, right? We have lots of different meats in our household, turkey, bison, beef, chicken, all those sorts of things. But I'm really loving recipes that kind of stretch that kind of protein quotient. Yeah. And that's where like the lentils or beans really, really come in handy because if you think about it, you can take a pound of ground turkey or something and you can double the recipe because these babies double when they're yeah. cooked, which is awesome, right? Okay, so I'm getting excited now because this is doing its thing. It's looking brown. I did season it a little bit. We are putting a hoisin and a little bit of soy sauce in this as well, so you don't need to add salt. You can add a little bit of pepper if you want. This is exactly the stage of when we're gonna add our lentils, okay? So I'm going to invite you, if, you're, if you feel like your tofu is brown enough, our dry lentils are gonna go in. You can see there's still a little bit of pink here with our turkey, and our dry lentils are gonna go in. And then I'm actually gonna give it a little bit of water to make sure that it will cook. And you can kind of do the same, and then I'll get you some, some as well. So it's actually gonna steam. You don't need a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Just about you know a half a cup of water in here, because there's a little bit that comes from the, uh, the meat as well in my, my dish. So as this kind of comes together, you'll notice they're, they're such a vibrant like orange yeah. when they're dry and uncooked. And you'll notice that they become kind of this muted color when they're cooked. So that's almost like a little bit of a telltale sign that things are starting to get cooked. This is when, before we put the cover on it, we're going to add a little bit of our aromatics. Right. So we have our garlic, we have our ginger. Do you cook with ginger very much or other? Yes. Yeah. Lot, yeah, it's one of my favorite things, but this, uh, this root, sometimes when you buy them, you put them in your fridge, you might not cook with it for a couple of weeks and you forget about it and it gets like, moldy. yeah, it gets like, yeah, straight up moldy, exactly. Um, but then when you want to grate it, it's uh -huh. one of those things that it's very fibrous and it's hard to grate and sometimes you just end up grating almost like the juice, not the actual like, you know, fruit itself. Yeah. So for me, I like to freeze it. So freeze I actually, it. I keep it in my freezer. And then you just take a little microplane like this, and it's so, so easy. It will grate. Just look. Wow. Super easy. And you just knock it in. It's so much easier to grate. It's like no fuss. And look, it's like all coming out. This is actually the first time I've ever cooked tofu. I've had tofu before, but this okay. is the first time I've cooked with it. Yeah, it's awesome. Wow, a couple firsts here. Yeah. And you know, it's so easy. And my, my kids, one of the, we make like tofu dippers. So we'll yeah. actually just kind of like roll them in a little bit of like oats or panko or hemp hearts or that sort of thing. And you can bake them in the oven. And they're a great like kind of finger food. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so awesome. it's like a little like chicken nugget alternative, if you will, that sort of thing. I think I'm about a minute ahead of you. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw in these beautiful red bell peppers. They're just diced kind of fine. I like to put them in at the end because for me, I really want to keep the color crunch, that sort of thing. So I just want to warm them through. It's not even really like cooking too, okay. too much. Okay. These bell peppers come from our friends at Kuhlman's Greenhouse and Kuhlman's, they've been feeding Edmontonians since like 1962 or something like that. So they have just the most amazing selection of greenhouse goodies. Okay. You're going to add your veggies. Give that a, like 30 seconds just to kind of come together. I'm going to add some hoisin sauce. You could technically like use teriyaki, you could use like anything that's easy. I think it's so important to like embrace those like flavorful conveniences, right? Where you're mm -hmm. taking like quality whole foods and you're adding flavors that you like, that you're going to enjoy. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of scallion, yeah. spring onion to mine. And while you're finishing up over there too, I know you love hemp hearts, so I did put some there for the garnish too, but one of the garnish that we're actually going to put in is a little bit of the top of that cilantro. So again, using the whole plant, not wasting anything, pretending I have some knife skills that I'm going to. <laughs> this is the real pressure here. I know. I usually use scissors. I have like herb scissors. I'm not going to lie. So, okay. You have to come in and take a look at this because it's so, so beautiful. And I just wish that people could smell it because as soon as we put in the garlic and the uh, ginger, yeah. it just like everything came to life, right? 
my turkey lentil medley is all good to go. It smells absolutely delicious. And I just I want you to take a look at some of the lettuce in front of you and just okay. grab a couple pieces that look really good to you. I love all the different colors. There's a good mix in here. And essentially what you do is with this nice warm mixture is you're just going to kind of take a little bit of it, kind of put it in the center of this beautiful lettuce leaf. Now, I like to garnish with a little, little bit of spring onion. And I brought some hemp seeds for you too, so you could kind of garnish it up with some more hemp seeds. And then, when you're ready, we're gonna eat because... Uh, <laughs> this is what you eat with friends and you don't care if it gets on your face nice. or like any of those sorts of things, you just have fun with it. It's all about finger food. Yeah. <laughs> No matter how old you are, that's what it's all about, right? <laughs> right, let's see if I can grab this. Oh, right, here we go. Okay, cheers, my friend. Cheers. Mm. Mine? Yeah. Mm. That is really good. So good. Mm. A little bit of sweetness, mm. right? Okay, friends, well, we're wrapping up in more ways than one. We're just gonna dive into the rest of these lettuce wraps. We wanna say a special thank you to Tommy for being here today with us. Yeah, thank you very much for having me out. It's been a ton of fun. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm so excited just to kind of share a meal with you and catch up. It's been awesome. Special thanks to our sponsors, the Italian Center Shop and to Kuhlman's Greenhouse Garden Market. We had such a spread of amazing ingredients here today and we're going to enjoy them thoroughly. We hope you take care and see you next time. Check out the Eat Like an Eddie website for all of these recipes and more and take care everybody. Mm -hmm.